This golf course is so good. It's a very special golf course. Like I said, designed by uh, Clyde Johnston in the late 90s and uh, opened up for play in 1999, but it's now ranked in the top 10 military courses in the world. I'll tell you something else that's uh, really interesting. Last year, 2022, the South Carolina Golf Association awarded us with the South Carolina Golf Club of the Year. That's very prestigious. It's a great award for us, but we then found out that this is the first time that a non-private golf club has ever received that award. So for a military public golf course like this, we're very honored. But this golf course has no homes, has no out of bounds, we've got a lot of alligators, and we've got two eagles nests. So there's a lot of nature to see, but probably the most interesting thing to see is the Santa Elena settlement, which is just behind the clubhouse. It's an easy walk down what used to be a par three, number seven, and at the very end of that, you'll find forts, old forts, that used to look out over the harbor and protect this area from invading ships coming right in the Atlantic Ocean. What you have behind me is Santa Elena Sound, as that's what the Spanish called it, but the French and the English will call it Port Royal Sound, which is what we call it today. But this is the deepest natural harbor south of New York. And the Spanish, very early on, discovered the wonderful qualities of this sound sometime around 1525, 1526. And over the next few decades, they viewed this as a spot to establish a base from which uh, they could guard the treasure fleets that sailed from Havana, come up along the southeastern coast, they catch the trade winds to go back to Spain. So if there's any problems with privateers or storms, ships could come in here and find shelter, protection, and then continue their voyage. But Spain never got around to settling this area, even though a number of the members of the royal family will call for an establishment of a base here. It's really going to be the French in 1562 uh, who are going to come into this sound and leave behind a very small outpost in May of 1562. Uh, this little outpost is called Charles Fort. It was to be a outpost for the French who were then going to expand their holdings in this area. Well, again, this was a thriving town. It had priests, it had noblemen, noble women, it had tailors, it had all everything you would find in a Spanish city was located here. And, of course, you would have your potter. And your potter would be located outside the village proper because you don't want any fire to get into the village itself. So he was located just outside the main area of the village, up to where is today our clubhouse on Paris Island. And and in the 1950s, the Marine Corps is going to move their golf course from the main side area of the base and create a new golf course right over top of the Spanish and French holdings here. And uh, so now if you're playing the golf course out at Paris Island, if you hit it a little bit uh, into the rough, you'll literally be actually slicing into what was once a Spanish village in the capital of Florida.